yeah, I'm just gonna wait till the market calms down before I start looking for a house. Yes, your real estate prices are insane, I'm telling you, inside. back in my day. I mean, the prices, they've, they've gotta come down sometime, right? Right? Hey, it's Tristan Emu with Mindful Living Realtor, Realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about the Rapid City real estate market and a bunch of other questions I've heard in relation to said real estate market. So let's jump into some numbers to see how things have been the past few months in the Rapid City real estate market. And that will lead us into the questions that you are asking about the Rapid City real estate market. So right now there are 204 active residential properties in the entire Black Hills MLS. That's better than 135, but still not very many. So we're still looking at a seller's market where we have more buyers than properties available. Plus we're looking at a 15% increase on average sold prices year over year from last year to this year across the, set the past three months. Take a look at these numbers. In July, the average sale price was about $314,000, which is up 15% from 2020. In August, our average sold price was $317,000, which is up 14.6% from August 2020. And the September average sale price is $320,000, which is up 14% from last year. What's also interesting is we're still averaging about a 1% increase in prices month to month. And the days in market remain the same too. For these past three months, it's been 11 days in the market on average. Yes, it's still a seller's market. There are still multiple showings, multiple offers, and over asking price offers to win the bid. Just last week, my buyers had to spend $25,000 over asking price to get that Southwest home with a little bit of acres that they were looking at. There even was an offer for $45,000 above, but my buyers got it because they did not have a home sale contingency attached to their offer. And so the crazy Rapid City real estate market continues in September and October, 2021. Which leads us now into the questions that you've been asking. Question number one, surely the market will slow down this winter, right? Next year? Now, typically in the Rapid City real estate market, we see a very busy spring, followed by kind of a slower summer as people are out vacationing and having a good time. It picks up again as everybody gets back to school, and then it slows down during the holidays and kind of then sometimes picks back up around January when after the holidays are over. <laughs> However, last year, that didn't happen. We had a very busy December, January, February. It didn't really stop. So I'm not expecting anything to change this year in 2021 during the winter time. We're still seeing multiple buyers coming in with multiple offers. Plus we've got things like the new bomber mission coming into Ellsworth Air Force Base in a number of years. That's gonna bring in a lot of people. We've got new businesses that are coming into the Black Hills area, which is gonna you know, bring in more people. <laughs> Plus we got more and more people discovering the Black Hills and discovering how beautiful it is around here and the freedoms that we enjoy and they wanna move here. So I don't see that the buyer pool is going down enough to create a, any kind of a market softening this winter. Now, it hasn't been as busy as it was early in the year where things have been gone within days. Sometimes it's now taking a week for homes to sell. But the right homes in the popular areas are going really, really fast. Question number two. So are the prices ever gonna go down? For prices to go down in our area, we'd have to have us transition from a seller's market into a buyer's market. A seller's market is when there are more buyers than there are homes for them to buy. A buyer's market is when there are more homes available than there are buyers. So then the buyers have a chance to choose any home they want and then they have the power. But right now the sellers really have all the power. Historically, we've always gone up in price year by year by year. Let's take a look at these graphs which show the average sold prices from the year 2005 to the year 2020. Now the first thing you can notice here is that it all trends upward. Now here in 2009, this is where we had the market crash, but consider this, when the rest of the country was down 50, 60%, we were down 6% in our area. And then the next year it went up and it never has slowed down since. So will the prices go down anytime soon? Probably not. Yes, it's ridiculous. Yes, the prices are ridiculous. Yes, they're getting more and more ridiculous. I get that. I've been doing this for 15 years. The homes that I've sold for $100,000 back in the day are now worth 200 some thousand dollars. It's ridiculous. But it is the way things are in the Rep City real estate market this year. Question number three, should I wait to buy until the market calms down? Now I've really kind of already answered this question from question one and question two. 
But let me add, add a few more details to kind of give you an idea why it'd be better to buy sooner rather than later. Now, please understand, I am not being the one to say, yes, now's a great time to buy because, hey, it, it's rough. It's tough to buy a home right now. However, if you want to move into the area, you need to get in the game. You need to play the game because that's the only way it's going to work for you and your family. And of course, depending on your circumstances, where you are at, maybe you need to wait for a while. I understand that. The other aspect is to consider is that the interest rates aren't going to stay low forever. I just talked with the lender a couple of months ago, and they're talking about because the job market is the way it is, and that it's increasing more than they imagined it would, that they were, are expecting that uh, the interest rates should go up here in the next few months. Higher interest rates equals less purchasing power for you, meaning it's even harder to get that property that you're interested in with the prices being higher than you may, may be expecting. I know there's a lot of media talking about, well, yeah, well, all the foreclosures happen, the market's going to tank, and we're going to see all these uh, the buyer, back to a buyer's market, et cetera, et cetera. The same letter also provided me information about a news report about all these foreclosures, where a good percentage of them are already taken care of, or they're already working through situations with their bank to get themselves taken care of, so that all that's going to be really left is about 2,500 homes nationwide. That's not even going to be a drop in the bucket here. So if you're waiting for the, all these foreclosures to hit the market, all of a sudden we have a buyer's market, probably is not going to happen. I know it's tough right now, but waiting to buy is probably not the best strategy in the long run. Question number four, so are there still people moving from out of state into your area? Yes. Yes, I'm working with quite a few people that are still considering moving into the area in 2022. I've even had some of them that have plans for 2025. People still see the attractiveness of what we have here in South Dakota and are considering making the move here to our, to our state. So if you're local and watching this, please get used to the fact that yes, we are getting a lot of out-of-towners moving into the area. Now please understand also the ones that I'm working with are not here to come to change the world. They're coming because they are believe in what South Dakota is about and they want to become part of it. They don't want to change anything. They want to be here to become part of South Dakota. Whether you believe that or not, I don't know, but that's been my experience with the people that I've helped move into our area. Question number five is kind of a different one. Someone asked the question, well, are there a lot of multinational corporations buying property in their area? And I know I've seen lots of news reports about Bill Gates buying all this land over here and China buying all this land over there. So people probably just want to make sure that, you know, we're not being part of that. And from my experience, what I have seen, the majority of people that are moving into our area are coming here to live, to be part of South Dakota and to work, live, and play here in our great state. Now, there have been a percentage of people that have been buying land and property for vacation homes or to use those VRBOs or Airbnbs. The majority of people I'm talking with are the people that are coming to make South Dakota their primary residence. Question number six for the sellers. Should I wait till after winter to list my property? At this point, it probably isn't going to really matter if you list now or if you list later on. With the low inventory and the high buyer demand, we should be able to get you sold pretty quickly for a price you'd be happy with. All right, everybody, there we go. The Rapid City Real Estate Market in September, October 2021. I hope somewhere in here I've answered your question. And if I haven't, please put a comment below. Let me know what you're interested in, what you're thinking about. And as always, keep watching my videos. Give me some likes. And don't forget, love where you live.